Here's a quick demonstration of Kayla walking to heal. Ron will then tell her to sit and give one blast of his whistle. Then Kayla will sit down. First of all, you'd want to do this with your dog on a lead and you'll keep trying this method until your dog sits when you blow the whistle. And then you can move forwards doing this without a lead. If you're having trouble getting your dog to sit on the whistle, you can always go back to basics and use all of the techniques you've already learned, plus adding the whistle. You can tell your dog to sit, use the hand command of facing your palm towards the dog, and then blowing your whistle. Just a reminder and blowing the whistle as well. We're adding the whistle to sit train now. Another way that we can use our whistle in basic training is for recall. The whistle in recall is also used along with the techniques we were taught earlier. This time, instead of a long, loud blast, we use small, repeating blasts, as well as bending down and clapping our hands. This will further encourage our dog to come back, or if it's been retrieving, then it will bring back what has been retrieved. Next, we will move on to something a little more advanced. Stopping your dog on the whistle. This technique is usually tied in with hand directions, which we shall cover in the next chapter. In this example, Ron has laid out a dummy, and he wants to send Kayla to retrieve this. But halfway through, he wants to stop Kayla, and then give her instructions on what he wants her to do. The reason behind this is, if we're on a shoot, and there's been a bird been shot, Ron can send Kayla to retrieve this. If, in that time, another bird has been shot, Ron can get Kayla to stop, change direction, and retrieve the other bird. For more information, clips and videos, go to www.bestgundog.com or for a weekly online training course to take your dog from the beginning to expert status, simply go to www.bestgundog.com forward slash weekly training.